My name's Edward. This is my DeWalt planner. Um, it's never done exactly what I wanted it to do, but it works good for if I've got a large amount of lumber that <coughs> needs to be sanded, then I can save a lot of time sanding by pushing this through it first. Um, the problem that I'm having with the height adjustment, it won't adjust down, or it didn't used to adjust down all the way, is because this base plate is cast aluminum, and cast aluminum will warp if set on concrete or full concrete. And because it's so heavy, I tend to set it on the concrete floor rather than lift it up on the shelf. So that's where I went wrong. All righty, so here's the tools that I'm going to be using. An Allen wrench that's a number five, a screwdriver, a drill with a 916 metal bit. This is, uh, my son bought this screwdriver and uh, he never used it so he gave it to my wife. My wife, the only time she used it was to take it out of the drawer to hand it to me to fix up. And it looked kind of sissy lala so I didn't want to use it. But I used it once and then uh, fell in love with it. So here's how it works. There's your on off switch and it shows you where your battery is there. And you go forward, you turn it forward, and it's, you see it's starting to turn. You turn it a lot, and it goes fast. Come back, it stops, go back this way, and it goes in reverse. And that way it goes in reverse fast. And uh, I use it like that most of the time, but sometimes you want a pistol grip or you're in a tight spot. It works the same. So anyway, I'm going to be using that just for a second. So let's uh, show you how I fix it. First thing you do is unplug it because uh, I don't know. You want to be safe. Take that out, set it aside. You won't need that. You might need that. Let's take the diffuser off. Set it aside. Take the base plate off. having problems with your base plate going on and off easy, it's the same thing. The, the, uh, the base plate is warped. So what I did was uh, the side that I was having trouble with, I just bent that out a little bit. They don't work that well anyway, right? Okay, what's next? Next, I'm going to take these two screws out of the base plate. These are on the height indicator, which I use as a rough reference. I don't use this for lots of stuff. It's just to roughly get to where I want to be, and then use the mic or the tape measure for the rest. I'm going to turn it all the way over. probably get a five millimeter to put in my screw gun, but these things are kind of been in there a while, so they get stiff. So just do it by hand for the first one. There's four screws that go into each one of these through the base plate. I'm going to take those out. the magnets on for changing the blades, but it works good for pulling those out of the hole. All right, so there's the base plate. Here's the four holes, 
and the height adjustment things. I don't recall. Anyway, so I'm going to set that right there. Take my drill with the 9 16 and set that on high torque. And just you might have to go with a smaller bit and then just increase until you get it. So that one was pretty easy. But they've already been drilled out. Alright. Now I'm just going to put it back together in reverse. But while I've got it apart this time, this is my exit roller. And I wore my rollers out and they're expensive and a pain in the butt. And I'll probably just do it again because they're just soft rubber. But I've got some electrical friction tape here. And I thought I'd experiment with putting the electrical friction tape on it. Just roll it around a few times and see how that worked with that fixed it because that was the cheap and easy fix. So if it is, I'll post a video on how I did that too. Alright. Thanks. Good luck.